All right, welcome back to Broken Arrow, y'all. We're going to continue our advance across this canal and secure the Star Fort. <laughs> in my last episode, I realized, damn, an entire hour had passed just playing on, like, the slowest setting and micromanaging things and explaining everything. And uh, it's actually really interesting to be able to both cover this battle as almost like a news reporter, like, you know, a war correspondent covering all the stuff going on, and also give commands. It's quite a unique thing to do. But Broken Arrow, again, is a demo, and it's amazing, and I can't recommend the game enough, especially for free, you know, the demo. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, playing this this second time, operating with a lot of prior knowledge from a live stream earlier, I've uh, it made even more mistakes this time around by trying to get in on those juicy kills and things like that. A lot of vehicles destroyed on our side, but that doesn't mean we're out. Not at all. Not by a long shot. we got plenty of vehicles to ferry the Marines across the uh, little uh, canal here and to get them to the other side. We're, eventually, we're going to take this section to try to advance, let's call this north, to the uh, port here. Or to the fort, uh, which is next to the port. The fort next to the port. We're going to keep that up. But anyway, thanks again for all the subscriptions and all the amazing support. You guys are amazing, really. And uh, this game is too. So I'm glad to just see everybody excited and giving it a shot. And seeing a few things that they, they think could change. And fair enough, you know. Not, not wrong by any means. But it's just great to see so many more people getting excited about this uh, game. And it's, it's, it's just awesome. So welcome aboard. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try to uh, get everybody... Uh, resupplied here uh, before we transport our troops to the other side. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to silence this artillery with our own artillery. We can fire over here and directly hit where they're firing from, but it doesn't seem to silence them or even stop them at all. And so we're going to go ahead and try to start moving in with some Marines here. So we're going to use Marine Force Recon, and we can try to get two of these squads inside of a Super Stallion, and we're going to try to land that right about here in this parking lot and see if we can get the... Uh, troops to then deploy uh, to see what's going on on this side to make sure we're safe for crossing of the canal. So look at that. TH-53 on the way. Really cool to see that. So they come in and land and we're going to get our troops across the canal once they have landed. We're going to get additional transports then. We could probably get Osprey up uh, empty and we can go ahead and try to bring the Marines across so we can get them out of these buildings and why take time, you know, gathering up all these troops? And, you know, if time is of the essence to stop that artillery, then let's get everybody resupplied on those choppers and across the canal. We have multiple options to cross things like the canal, so why not? All right, let's bring everybody back to those supplies. And these Marines here, too. Not great to move under fire, but, you know, we're under pressure of getting things done ASAP. So let's do it. All right, Osprey moving to two positions there. Flight plan confirmed. Good. Well, even the LAV mar uh, Marine Mortars can go with us because they're amphibious too. There's some supply back here, but we can pick that up with one of the uh, stallions a little bit later. And here it comes. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and land. What are you doing, Commander? Take that board and establish a defensive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're working on it. All right, Marines have been dropped off. CH-53 can come on over. And grab some of that supply now. The so, the helicopters, from what I see, have unlimited fuel. And aircraft do not. Like, for example, an A-10 or an Su-25. All the aircraft uh, seem to be able to have extendo fuel tanks if you need to be able to patrol an area for longer. But the helicopters and everything else can basically continue to fight forever so long as they have munition to do so. All right, let's go ahead and get the Marines separated here. And we'll have two squads kind of make sure that we're safe to land in this larger area. And the Ospreys are here, too. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right, so we're going to go ahead and land and try to pick up these Marines now. We can pick up, like, two full squads of Marines. And maybe, like, a, a Dragon Squad or, like, a... Uh, maybe, like, a SMA or something like that. Man, they're really mad. That artillery is just pounding. Absolutely pounding. Well, let's get our mortars on standby near the canal. Go ahead and bring them in close so we can get them to fire across. And the stallions picked up the rest of the supplies. Not all of it, though. Able to pick up... Uh, well, it's able to pick up, I think... Yeah, 14,500. Uh, and so it's picked up 1,500. A long way to go before it's full, but... We'll go ahead and do the Marines a favor and bring some supply over there. Just a little bit of... Uh, just a few crayons onto the other side of the canal before we... Uh, swing back to the Crayola factory to pick up some more, but anyway, let's go ahead and grab some more uh, 
Marines here. We might have to take a couple of trips, but I think this is a little more luxurious and faster than the uh, amphibious transports. So as you can see here, this has 26 seats, so we should be able to uh, get a Marine squad in there, two Marine squads, and a specialty squad too. Uh, so we're going to wait until all the Marines are ready to go. Are you guys full? Oh, 26 out of 26, okay. We'll go ahead and bring these uh, units over. And so now we're ferrying Marines to the other side of the canal. Pretty sweet. Not to mention we have the option of maybe coming over here and landing on this side of the star fort. Perhaps we could do a pincer move coming in from this direction and this direction. Uh, but there's a lot of options now that uh, we have fast helicopters that can move around from our previous uh, mission. Our previous section, that is. Just taking this town alone was actually really exciting. All right, let's drop off supplies there. Touchdown. We'll have the, C st the Super Stallion go back to the, um, I guess we'll just call it the carrier or the group and uh, grab supply and then come on back one more again. Marines. Marines, make sure you guys are inside there. All right, what do we got here? At your 19, we could take another, can't take a group of Marines. Let's see if it lets us. Should tell us no. But they don't really give a confirmation of that. That's too many Marines to fit in there. I was listening to see if there was some sort of audio that would tell us no, but man, that artillery. I have fired on it before, and it will it will not fire. It will not stop firing. It'll keep firing. The Osprey is in the air. Oh, let's keep ferrying those Marines back and forth. So this would be really great in multiplayer, either in a co-op campaign or in a... Uh, uh, it'd be actually a really cool co-op mission. Take that board and establish a defense. It would be really cool to actually, uh, you know, have somebody working on the logistics, the supplies and the transportation of troops while you're doing uh, fighting. You could be fully focused on making sure your troops are in the right position, pulling them back when you need to, and making sure all the... Uh, Everybody's where they need to be to be most effective, and then, you know, a, a buddy can make sure that everybody's resupplied and ready to go and where they need to be on the front line and in the rear. Actually, this only has 26, so we can fit two Marine squads. It's the uh, Super Stallion, I think, that can hold 30, yeah. So we can actually get... Two marine squads and a specialty squad into the super stallion, but not the uh, the other way around. But you get what I'm saying. Ready. Cool. Let's get some more troops here. Flying there now. We can even bring supplies up this way too and ferry it across if we need to. Bring up the helicopter to do other things. We could dump a bunch of supply on the beach and then transport it later on. But at least it'll be here, saving us time while the helicopter is transporting other people around. We have our Vipers 2. These are not able, from what I've seen so far, to engage buildings. The enemy will be garrisoned here, and so it's kind of annoying because we can't necessarily um, destroy their uh, position with a helicopter. We can't really use Hydras or like a cannon to fire into the building, and so we have to rely on basically doing it either by firing at them with the Marines or entering the building with the Marines. Get him in there. We also have flares, too. The enemy has anti-aircraft probably back here. So it's likely that we're going to need to use uh, flares at some point. Alright, let's push the boys into the woods. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, right, we have more force recon. Cool, more Marines ready to go. Yeah, this is much faster than doing all the uh, uh, the transports. And as we saw earlier, they, they really couldn't even fight against a group of um, Russian Marines without a little bit of trouble. They have some pretty good anti-tank weapons, too, so... Alright, we got about 7,800 left for supply there. Go ahead and tell this vehicle to return to base. 
And we'll have our chopper come in with more supplies needed. Oh, looks like we're engaging enemy troops. Oh, nice, look. Osprey are coming in for some fire support. Nice. Well, these could actually work. Although the Vipers were unsuccessful when I tried them previously. Our Marines will push up then. Let's get them. Look at that. Wow. Holy hell. Nobody should be surviving that. Good. Wow, let's go back across again. Damn, the Osprey, very good for beach landings like that. Or at least in that particular situation, phenomenal. Good job. Go back to the supply. What are you doing, Commander? Take that forward and establish a defensive. What I'm doing, sir, is what I know is the right thing, is to not rush in to the Russians. We're going to take it slow, bro. Chill. All right, let's bring some more supply up. Let's see. There's really no... Well, this mole here is going to be a good spot to defend, I think. And bring some more supply up. And actually, if we could get a truck over here to uh, move this stuff around, that'd be even more feasible. Let's go ahead and get that chopper up. We'll use two choppers again. And then we'll use the stallion to bring the rest of it over. Wow, Marines. We gotta spread out. They did too good of a of job here. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take the Star Fort finally. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, lo lower your altitude, please. There we go. Enemy anti aircraft there. Just a scratch. There we go. We used our lower altitude ability to kind of avoid that and quickly repairing here. With a few of the spare parts. Not a problem. Alright, let's get the Marines where they need to go. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to try to take the fort and this mall and then these buildings up here at the same time. I'm going to try to push all the way to the port. And I'm also going to call out some helicopters then to take down anything that we might see in terms of vehicles aside from that AA units that there that little turd Fork on here. On our way. force recon might be able to delete that vehicle never mind wow look at the marines light it up whoa Oh, they're still shooting at us with the anti-aircraft gun. With our helicopter low. And yeah, that 23mm absolutely shredded infantry. Another good example of how effective those vehicles can be then against infantry. Good little test and experiment to show that uh, within uh, its range, it can really devastate. So that's going to work both ways if we uh, get a minigun anti-aircraft weapon. That's going to be awesome. We'll pay him back. Don't worry. We're good. Alright, let's return to base. And let's get the rest of the Marines over here, shall we? You won't find a faster lawnmower. Actually, cancel that and pick up those supplies. Approaching pickup location. The cargo. We arrive for the lift. Troop and let's bring that Humvee back. Bring the LAVs over. Of 
Oh, now the rockets can fire. All right, good. Now, previously, when I had done this before, the Vipers were not able to engage uh, people inside those buildings. So, but regardless with that... All right, we got 40 Marines holding this uh, city block here. Nice. Love seeing all those animations of different kills. Regardless if it's us or them, I'm not here to try to get a perfect score or to be macho on uh, my ability to command. I want to see what these forces can do and how solid this, is ga this game is going to be and what things that it can offer versus all the ones that I've loved before. BDV are coming up. I thought they were all dead. You know, from before this war in a different one. Come on, boys, get in that damn building. Doesn't seem like a good spot for the Marines to be. How we fired on those vehicles before. Should be able to continue to fire here. Let's get closer. The landing party is almost there. Hold tight. Let's bring in some more. I want to order two of these. Well, we'll call in the Osprey with uh, scout snipers and force recon. Holding back with these supply at the moment. All right, fall back. Come on, fire those mortars. Who wants a skylight for his house? Wow, what the hell? The mortars can fire from out in the water. Must be minimum range that we've had to proceed out to. Well, now we know. Yeah, dropping a player into... And I, I'm imagining all the people who are just being frustrated. I hope it's not too many, but the people who... Uh, are playing this who might think it's too tricky again i think this is probably like the third mission fourth mission or so and there's a lot of skills that a player could develop in those but i, I hope this doesn't frustrate too many I'm, I'm loving this this is great doing exactly what i want it to do they're going to overwhelm us at the fort the landing party's finally here time for the big show oh no way This is Overlord. Too bad it's heading your way. Bullseye one one zero nine er. Engage and destroy. I'll copy. Over. One one copy. Thanks out. No way. What do we have here? F eighteen E's. I'm hit. I'm hit. Oh, we got a pilot down. This is Reaper two one. We're in the AO. Engaging. Oh wow. 
two aircraft down. That's not good. A rescue mission. Those are deployed automatically, so we're going to have to keep fighting. Roger. I hope you can float. Can we actually see them? I can't see him in the water, but he's certainly got a life jacket on for sure. An air battle now. Multiple enemy aircraft inbound. Wow, there's a... There's going to be a fight. Now, I suppose we could have probably immediately microed that and popped decoys, but... Oh wow, another one down. Absolute brutality with these. Are you kidding me? A lot more micro needed here. Bombing run, strafing run, afterburner. We do have these abilities, but uh, we even have the ability to airdrop. Drop your soldiers on enemy heads. AKA what? Eject and just drop it in the enemy base? That's crazy. You gotta have. These are QTEs, man. Quick time events with. Uh, against enemy aircraft. Can you not get in there with your 20 millimeter? Let's go. Or what about the ships? Standing by. Are you not able to fire on that? Rhino, combat ready. Wow, we have ships. Arleigh Burke destroyer here. Yeah, we have an Arleigh Burke with uh, Tomahawk and Sea Whiz, and we have a carrier as well. Ready to launch some uh, helicopters and whatnot, just like what we saw before. Well, we got three pilots down. That's awesome. Back to home or four. Roger that. That's kind of cool that it dynamically changes the mission now, though. Now we have pilots down deep in enemy territory, so now we need a recovery mission to go get them. Uh, Ospreys and... Super Hornets are down. Uh, Vipers... Actually, no. It looks like we... We're just not allowed to call them in. I think we've switched our role now. Our old call-ins have changed. Destroyer ready. I think we should send out a small boat to go Destroyer get them. Here. Looks like we're not able to uh, command that, but it says to clear the sky. Well, they would fly over here. Can't we just shoot them? We have we have no anti aircraft capability aside Fire from the Sea Whiz. Not able to move. Can I reverse? We can fire. All hands, battle stations. stations, battle stations. We this is Reaper actual. Enemy fighters destroy. Thank God. Copy that, Reaper. The landing craft are on their way. Check. Protect them until they reach the shore. Good copy. Uh, those pilots have, uh, crashed, dude. That's gonna need a little buffing out there. We gotta have a little, maybe an advantage, because that's gonna catch people off guard. Now, at this point, there's not a save, so I'm assuming there, there probably could have been an autosave, and you could use that as a learning opportunity rather than lose the aircraft, but... I mean, what are you gonna do? Can we see what these are loaded with? Unfortunately, no, but here comes the reinforcements. So, yeah, we've lost control of the, all the Marines and everybody over here that's still holding. I don't know for how long, but they're holding the fort. I, who would even want to retake that after the destruction of the coastal defenses? Who cares? <laughs> like, it is a pretty good defensive position. It is a fort, after all, but not important. It's not important. All right, so I'm not sure what to do with these guys. We can't... Tell them to do anything other than pop smoke. It would be hilarious. Roger. Oh. You can kind of see them. Oh, there's the crew. They can't swim, but there is two crew members there. Yeah, it's both. That's cool. So there's got to be a mission where it's like behind enemy lines. That would be... A Absolutely amazing. I thought we dealt with the enemy aircraft. Ollie Burke at your command. Well, wow. That's unfortunate.
Well, despite that, I would like to also get some helicopters that might have AA as well. We could kind of escort them in and fire at enemy aircraft. That is cool, though. Strafing room with what's probably it. SU-25. Well, our aircraft had no health, but these uh, hovercraft are indestructible. Oh, do we have tanks? Hell yeah, brother! Oh, nice. Now we got some anti-aircraft on board. There we go. Here's the situation, Commander. Your group holding the fort has drawn the bulk of the enemy force to the tip of the peninsula. Now, focus on the landing party. Your objective is to capture key buildings overlooking the main crossroads to cut their reinforcements and trap them. You need to hurry. Your men at the fort won't hold forever. Yep, rescue mission. Cool. All right, so hold the key buildings. Big old beach here. What about infantry? What do we got? Uh, yep, we got transports filled with Marines. Get them out right away. Nice, the Abrams are here, bro. We got air defense on station two. Ooh. Enemy vehicles. Let them have it, boys. Rocket barrage incoming. Keep your heads down. Oh boy. Rain's getting that damn forest. Holy hell. Is that how you welcome all your tourists around here? We have detected the origin of the strike, Commander. A few cruise missiles from our destroyer will teach them good manner. Hell yeah. Destroyer at your order. We're firing cruise missiles now. Damn, these missions are cool. Of course, that reminds me of when the, uh, I think it was the Missouri that came in for the Pine Valley mission from World in Conflict. Very cool stuff. All right, now where are we supposed to fire these? Destroy the MLRSs. Here they are, here and here. A little hard to read that uh, map, I'd, I'd say. I want all firepower on this position. I want all firepower on that position. I want to see those missiles launch. Oh, cool. Look at that. Let's take a look at the cruise missile. Beautiful. Well, the one should be along soon. Oh, there it is. They've spread out. Oh, you can see some destruction there. Enemy MLRS destroyed. So, who's got the biggest stick now, huh? Lab ready. I needs a vacation. All right, well, at least we got the Marines off the beach. Typically, they're natural habitat, but... Continue to flank that away. So, unfortunate, we didn't get uh, to control all the troops that we put into position here. It seems like, you know, watching this, it's like, oh, man, we lost all these positions and whatnot. But in terms of the mission, if we had held this position, we would, we would still not have command of those troops. We would have to rescue the ones here, I guess. Well, there's more fire coming down here, I think. Anyway, we're going to have the Marines run all the way there. Marines, at your orders, sir. New orders. We lead the New orders. Advance and secure. We got to try to get there before it's too late. Armor transport reporting in. Roger here, sir. Oh, we got lots of uh god, no. these guys up here. Unfortunately, they fast moved up here when I was trying to move them over there. Looks like one actually made it. Now that's why in the previous section I was also playing at a slower speed, so until we kind of get a feel for the AI and what it tries to do, 
good idea to kind of babysit every move. Oh, beautiful loop. Abrams destroying those buildings. Get another shell in there, boys. Drop an eviction notice there. Get him going. Wow, I love that guy. Cool. Now, I'm thinking of playing this more tactically like we would for a uh, war game, but it's just starting to feel more like World in Conflict, where it's like the you want to try to keep everyone alive, you want to make sure that you care for all of your units and your vehicles, and make sure that you complete the objectives, but sometimes gameplay elements change what you will do a little bit, and I have no problem with that at all. Let's get the uh, any aircraft over here, yep. Come out over here, boys. Thanks for going to that right flank. Supply, I guess we can come on down the beach. Yeah, I don't know. There, there's really no reason to get up here. We could just kind of go all the way down the beach and then strike there, since that's our objective. That's 2v2 now. Who wins that one? I want more stuff to shoot with cruise missiles. Give me more targets. That's a good target. Screw him. Make sure those are finished off. Stand by. Nice. Anti aircraft standing by. Armored is rolling out. Now, I also wonder if different types of landscape speeds up and slows down the vehicles. Like, for example, these cargo this cargo truck's traveling a little slower through the forest. But does sand and soil and dirt and snow, if there's going to be snow maps, that affect things? We'll have to see. All right, so we're trying to rush over here because it's very important to rescue them. But I, I think I just saw some units spawning from here. So it could be one of those kind of like simulated important timed events, but it's not actually timed. So knowing... How exactly this game works will kind of make the decision based on the uh, gameplay mechanics, not necessarily the situation at hand. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Heavy armor is ready to Backwards. Heavy cavalry ready for action. Someone call for a cab? An airstrip? Oh, more car parking lots on the beach. Okay. Marines. Pushing forward. Well, let's have the Marines come up. Hold the key buildings. Let's see. Where are the key buildings? Oh, they want us to push up here. I see. Well, actually, it's good we moved up here then. We got a straight shot all the way to those buildings. Alright, drop that off there. And do we have access to helicopters? Yeah, we have access to the helicopters again. Same setup that we had before. Almost as if those vehicles were like recovered somehow. Let's pull these up here. And we only have enough for one, it looks like. 240 points each with the current setup. Hydras, ATGMs, 20 millimeter. Let's go up the road. Also, did you guys drop off the supply? All right, Marines, get up that road. There are tanks. There we go. And not good to move through thick woods with no recon or really no infantry, but I'm not expecting much of that. Let's move to... Heavy armor is oh, we're also supposed to take these buildings, too. Oh, these are massive amounts of key buildings. There's a lot of them here.
all in a chopper then. All right, so what we'll do then, massive amounts of buildings to take. We have this southern section and this kind of inner section. So kind of just this mall and a few buildings here. I'll just, this mall section and those. And then these high rises here. Could always level the buildings too, but probably have to prepare for an enemy counterattack at some point. You need to hurry. Your men at the fort won't hold forever. What's a marine? Always a marine. They're fine, sir. Sweeping the area. Abrams, ready to roll. Fire and maneuver. Rock up, we're moving. Force recon here. Back into the woods, boys. Let's go hide. I drop off those Marines. I love how our reinforcements come in from a carrier that we can see and that we can actually continuously bring in more of them. Ooh. Alright, so it's better to just drop them at the beach. No, just stay down, please. Back to base. Hopefully they can get repairs there. I wonder how that works if a damaged vehicle returns. Marines, at your orders, sir. Roger, move and secure. Heavy armor is ready to run. Heavy cab is on the field. Heavy armor is ready to run. Double dogs here. Lock and load. We're moving. All right, well, recon is good, but Force spam is better. Since we don't have any artillery now, we can't really do much without the tanks, but that's why we brought them. Marines have no time to go around the pond. We have to go straight through. Let's just rush these in and see how they uh, do. It's time to start testing things. Well, we're here for this demo. To find out how things work. In that building, let's go. We had a little refund on the Super Stallion then. Oop, missile. Ah, nice. Anti-aircraft. Grenade launcher should be firing at that building now. side. Ooh, nice. Vehicle destroyed there. Just trying to see the effectiveness from both sides now using this campaign objective to really see how things might fare in an actual multiplayer match or something slightly different. Oh, we have T-72s now. Can't allow that to happen. Drop those cruise missiles. Don't let them have it. Put up with that crap. I'll see you straight in hell. Your command. Your leg. That building. 
Whew, all right. Marines at your order, sir. More Marines. Move. Shoot, communicate. Pushing forward. Osprey ready. Now, how's the uh, stallion? Did that ever get replenished? That oh, looks like it's fully repaired, so they can bring in... Oh, we can bring in more Marines. Oh, so we have endless amounts of Marines? Oh. Air defense ready for action. Hoorah! Roger, move and Push up to our next objective. Nice. Alright, let's have the tank return for supply. Heavy cab, ready to roll. It may have been disabled. Heavy armor is ready to rumble. Can't really tell what these symbols mean at the moment, so it could be disabled. Reconnaissance, ready for already action. there. What's a marine? Always a marine. New order. We lead the assault. Marines standing by. Move and secure. Heavy Go. cavalry, ready for action. Make way. All right, now we got to take this mall. See if we can drop the Marines close. Tank destroyed there. I really want to see how durable these units are. And it seems like tanks, as you would imagine, are better at a long range against armor. But okay at mid-range HE, even if they take a few hits, they could come in and knowingly take some damage. Super Stallion down as well. But I didn't see what may have taken the shot at that either. But, when that happens, the Marines did survive. This is like a Call of Duty mission, man. Crash and yet you still have to complete the uh, mission like that. That's awesome. So if in a multiplayer you uh, take a loss on an aircraft, you can still uh, recover the infantry. Get inside those buildings. Pick up those supplies. Beautiful. Alright. Let's have the Osprey coming over here. And now we have some of the buildings, but we'll need more reinforcements. Now this is, of course, quite rushed. Pushing in quickly to see what we could do and how things play out and a little intel on the mission, a little prior intel. You always do better on your, you know, third or fourth playthrough. And a lot of lessons will be learned here and how uh, to operate a few things. Well, a lot of these missiles fired off, too. Helicopters are all over the city. Wow. And both sides seem to have pretty capable anti-aircraft. Oh, you boys come on back now. All that supply was gobbled up. Looks like when the Osprey are called in too to unload, it looks like they go to the area in which you instruct them but don't actually land there. So it might be a good idea to call them in close to where you want them to land and then when they arrive... You'll just kind of have to put an internal clock in your mind to remember to check that area again when they've arrived. Alright, 
All right, supply, go ahead and deliver. Tanks getting the repairs it needs. Heavy weapons ready. Lavage your command, sir. Now we may be uh, counterattacked when we finish this. Yeah, it looks like we have an unlimited amount of Marines. You're too slow, Commander. Too many enemies are reinforcing the assault against the fort. It will not hold. Oh, really? Is there, is there really a secret timer to this? I mean, the Marines are fine. They're holding as they had before. Better to take these buildings, though, than to call, uh, call in the cruise missiles on them. Looks like we're moving out of a building to capture other sections of a building. Well, he's throwing in the towel and saying, GG, I'm being a patriot. Oh, cool. So you can actually hit buildings as cruise missiles are, missiles are coming in. That's quite cool. The buildings could provide some sort of uh, protection against incoming missiles. Need a massive wave of Marines. This guy being a defeatist. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Fire and maneuver. Let's get those Marines up there. Drop it nearby as we resupply. Kind of difficult to see some of the objectives, too, in which we're supposed to capture. Honestly, I could see some objectives being difficult to find out exactly where they are. Like, it's cool that we have to capture uh, city blocks as key points, but sometimes it might be a little tough to see. So I could see people maybe capturing two of three objectives, not knowing that the third one existed. Uh, and the minimap is quite transparent. I don't think there's options at the moment for that. Uh, but that would be a little more helpful if we could zoom that in, too. That uh, missile? Oh, good. Yeah, looks like it destroyed that tank. Cool. So definitely the right tactic here of moving all the way to the right, and in fact, uh, when we landed here, two tanks and infantry going in right away, perhaps going in with a lot of marines to try to rush this area to then try to provide support to capturing this area on the right, flooding troops in this way and then trying to move along these, uh, that's pretty narrow, but if you could actually get out into these buildings, you'll be able to interrupt all those BTRs and all the other mess coming through. Hey, man, brother. Heavy lift ready. Find another group of Marines here. Copy that. Unhooking immediately. Hoorah! All right, let's get into those buildings. Get in that building. Marines in combat. Request to order. Move to that. All right, get into cover. Cool. Uh, yeah, this is a great opportunity to learn all the mechanics of this game as well. I can't praise the demo enough at least for showing some of the uh, basics of the game even though maybe a little bit later where some things are going to be a little bit more advanced basics and and some things that are going to be more important like the help the aircraft at the start that were shot down but completely a viable tactic to go in with a helicopter take a bunch of damage send it back to a carrier and have it instant repaired Although, it seems like this building, they try to move outside the mall. 
between the parking garages when they go to capture it, which you'd think it would be like one large interconnected structure that could be captured. Although I like the idea that we could fight over a massive structure in quarters like this. But if we try to tell 21 Marines to go here... Yeah, okay, it looks like it's instantaneous. That's good. Get in there, Marines. Actually, let's rush this building. Let's make a push, Marines. Let's go. Ramirez, take the apartment building. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Uh-uh, you're not allowed to have that. So underestimated the um, don't or don't underestimate the Arleigh Burke for the uh, Tomahawk missile support, which is really cool—a precise strike that, if the uh, enemy gets caught in a convoy heading into reinforce like this, if they stop to engage, you could possibly anticipate where, when and where they might stop and destroy them. Although in this case, I'm not even going to bother with all the Marines there. Osprey I'll send all those troops back. Possible to get in that building? Oh, is it full? Oh, it is. 13 out of 16. My bad. Yeah, see, it looks like they've gone outside to go inside. So they exposed themselves to fire for just a little bit. Not bad. Calling the stallion again. Two enemy combatants there. One enemy combatant here. Look at that. 64 troops to take that building. 32 to hold here. I love that. Love how the building sizes really uh, make a difference for the capacity of it. 64 in each of these quarters of the mall. You could have hundreds of people literally defending a key objective the enemy is in cut the off. objective. They will probably try to break the encirclement by attacking us from both sides at once. The landing crafts are coming back with a new wave of reinforcements. Tighten up your positions and hold until the enemy assaults run out of steam. No way. No way. All right. Hello and welcome back to Broken Arrow, guys. This has been amazing so far. Our third episode now in capturing this town. Literally, you could boil this down to an hour if you knew everything that you were doing and where the enemy would be encountered. Our first episode, we captured this town and started our crossing into the Star Fort. Second episode, we captured the Star Fort and American pilots were shot down over uh, the ocean here, or I, I guess towards the coastline. And uh, then we were for uh, tasked with bringing forces aboard the, uh, or unsure, and pushing into these positions here. And now enemy reinforcements are on the way, but so are our reinforcements. That looks amazing. Well, Broken Arrow, again, is a free demo on Steam in the last few episodes and live streams that I've been doing. Just, it blows me away with this game. And I want to do better every time that we play it. But keep in mind that um, it is a free demo for the time being, and hopefully we'll remain one forever. But we're going to go ahead and try to see what we can do to try to get everybody out of here and keep everybody safe. But also to experiment and, you know, sometimes purposely take losses to see how certain units react and or how uh, effective certain units are over others. Well, we got some anti-aircraft units here that we're going to try to bring up here. We got a helicopter that's going back. And we got multiple Marines ready to hold these positions. The enemy's going to attack pretty much from everywhere. And we're going to bring more reinforcements to the mall and try to hold. They're bringing BMDs. They're bringing aircraft. They're bringing uh, troops from every direction. We're pretty much, like, almost surrounded here. But here comes some more friendlies now to capture this position. We're going to bring in some uh, more Marines via the Osprey. So let's call two squads in via Osprey. And we're going to continue to harass them as they try to push from the Star Fort. Looks like they might be getting reinforcements from over here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly how they would have forces there, but here they come again. All right, let's push in. 
Beautiful. Ah, we got another wave of Marines, another wave of tanks. Combat patrol underway. Moving to contact. Enemy vehicle spotted. We're going to call in cruise missiles on them. All weapons shoot on this position. Arleigh Burke at your command. We're calling in Tomahawk cruise missiles now from the Arleigh Burke, which is uh, firing off cruise missiles on enemy forces that are closing in on us. Trying to hit him. Let's get those uh, Abrams up here. Let's try to cut them off. We're going to do a spearhead and cut them off directly. Get everybody out of those transports. And now we got to hold the town. It's going to be interesting. In some cases, we only have a few Marines left. Get in there and support them. Oh, no, no, no. Don't abandon. Just trying to select Marines that were in the local area, not all Marines. Calling all Marines. No, no. Hold your position there, Marines. My double click was intending to select troops in the local area. You have lost one of your objectives, Commander. Retake it before enemies can step into the breach. Enemy tanks here. Launch a Tomahawk there, boys. Hit him with that Tombow Hawk. Hit him with that Tombow. All right, Tomahawk missile coming in on those tanks spotted. 72s. They, who did they destroy the Abrams? Looks like it may have been Abrams tanks there. Oh, nice. The Marines are chewing up those light vehicles. Go, baby. Bring that firepower. Troop transport ready. Destroyer standing by. Focus fire on that position. Fork on here. Force recon here. Hoorah. Beautiful. Tanks destroyed. Alright, very good that we saved some of the tomahawks. I wonder if we can actually resupply that. Be hilarious if we could actually drop off supply and uh, resupply the Harley Burke with some more uh, supplies. Heavy weapons here. Get your asses in that Trap building. Base of fire in that building. All right, I see that we have one, two, three, four positions secured. Uh, this position here is still holding. The fort is kind of just a side objective that's kind of seems like we don't have to bother with it. Now let's start occupying some buildings here and keep an eye on the enemy. Let's take that building. Roger, Charlie Mike. Oh boy. Yeah, recon very important as you'd imagine. Obviously, it's one of our greatest assets to see what's going on. They have spent everything they had. The stragglers just radiated in. They're surrendering. We hold the harbor and the canal. Mission accomplished. Oh damn. Never mind, we did it. Fantastic. Mission complete? Question mark? Yeah, cool. Wow, 90 minutes on that one. But mostly on our uh, our speed. Wow. Everything complete. Good job, boys.